Welcome back to AM Northwest. You know, during Black History Month, it's fitting to learn that the Portland Audubon Society has changed their name. Here with the big reveal and to share why a new name is so very important, we welcome Executive Director Stuart Wells. Good to have you with us, Stuart. Thank you. This it's good to be here. This Mom. is huge. I know this has been in the, in the works for a while, yes. right? So give me the new name of the Portland Audubon. So we're happy to reveal that the new name is Bird Alliance of Oregon. Perfect. It's yeah. absolutely perfect. Yeah. But yeah. why the change? What was, what was behind the change? Well, thank you for that question, Helen. You know, uh, our country for throughout its history has been wrestling with systemic racism. Right. And we know in the past few years that's kind of become top of mind, especially with the social reckoning that happened. Right. Our organization recognized internally and externally that we wanted to do more, do better as well. And one of the things we noticed is as a barrier to some of the inviting folks in was right in our name, Audubon. Now, what is wrong with the Audubon name? Well, there's nothing wrong with the Audubon name in particular. But except it's named for after a person. John James Audubon was actually a slaveholder. He bought and, and sold slaves. He was unrepentant about um, ab abolitionist views. Wow. And he also desecrated Native American indigenous people's graves. So. So as as we, these things become more revealed, we recognize this is something we really. I had no idea. Yes. Yeah. But people, other people did, and obvi and you say mm -hmm. because of the name, because of what it represented to so many people of color, mm -hmm. you weren't getting them to be interested or excited in what you did. Well, yes, it's a good point because sometimes a barrier is only visible to the folks that it impacts. Right. Sure. And in that in that regard, when we know that that name was presenting a barrier when we want to have more people involved in the environmental movement right the more voices that are there it's 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 much more effective and i'm finding more and more of us mm -hmm. love birds yes. we love finding out more about them right so when mm. you went to decide on a name mm -hmm. you involve people and what did you find out they wanted that's a great question so several months after we announced over just over a year ago almost a year ago actually we we start reached out to our community our members and we got about almost 2,000 responses. And what was rose to the top was they wanted something that referred to birds. Yeah. They wanted something that talked about unity. And they wanted talked something. Talked about unity, okay. Yeah, yeah. And they wanted something that talked about, that conveyed the work that we do geographically. Because that's, you know, our, our, our former name, Portland. Right. kind of reference what we do in Portland. And yet you represent all of Oregon. We work throughout Oregon. We work on reserve you know, res uh, the coast, we work in the high desert, and we work in Portland identifying uh, urban green spaces and, and a number of things, yeah. helping to preserve old growth forest. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. And uh, birds really, though, when you just even think of a bird, mm -hmm. it represents a lot too, just in itself, right? Almost any bird. That's absolutely right. Birds are, in, in many in many cultures, a symbol of freedom. Yeah. You know, and one of the things I really I like about birds is they can get away from a situation that's not yeah. not tenable. Uh, and so one of the things that we, and the other piece about birds is that they're actually an indicator species. They tell us how the habitat's doing. If birds oh. are disappearing, they're, they're, then we know that there's some trouble with the habitat. And you know, we are more than birds, but birds help us to understand how we're impacting and how climate change is starting to impact the, the, the world we live in. For those who's never been mm -hmm. um, to the Bird Alliance of Oregon, mm -hmm. um, that's going to be a change to try to get used to saying that. It is. Yeah, what would they good. find? What what can they learn there? What can they see there? Well, at our sanctuary, we have 172 acres that are open to the public, and this is uh, some of it is old growth forest, and there's there's uh, there's creeks and there's bird birding. There's right. all kinds of ex access to nature there. It's really a beautiful place to just come and visit. And I know that there are people there who can help folks identify different types of birds that you have, right? That's absolutely right. We have a very robust education program. We have uh, program camps for, for children right. in, the, in the summer. And also we have camps like when, when we had the big freeze. Right. We offered a day camp for folks, the kids who were out of school. So it was really, really a good. And I feel like you, your organization has come to top of mind whenever someone finds an injured bird. That's like, a, I've got to take it to, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right? it's a huge part of our mission, the wildlife rehabilitation. 
And it's also an, a, a, a connection to, you know, sometimes that bird that people find, it's their first in, interaction with nature and, their, and they have a place to take it, which is our wildlife care facility. Right. And we are able to educate folks as to how this might be avoided in the future. And a lot of programs in Oregon, such as the bird safe um, glazing on windows, you know, cat safe at home, Oh, right. All of those things came out of observations of injuries that we had seen with the coming to the Wildlife Care Center. Yeah, because I don't think a lot of people realize the danger that cats mm -hmm. cause to birds mm -hmm. as well. So mm -hmm. i got to ask you this personal question. When, let's say, you're walking around your neighborhood, can mm -hmm. you identify birds by the sound? I'm getting better at that. Yeah. I know the Pacific Wren and oh, definitely nice. the Stellar's Jay because yeah. it's, a, it's a very distinctive And your call. favorite bird is? Oh, well, in Oregon, yeah. I would have to say the... Pileated. Oh, yes. It's yeah. just really neat. And you can tell just, that sound for sure. Well, I can tell the sound, but I definitely I can tell them visually. That's yeah. Just, that's oh, fantastic. Such a large word. Congratulations on the new name. Well, thank Let's you. Let's get so used much. to saying it Bird Alliance of Oregon. Bird Alliance of Oregon. Stuart, thank you so much. Thank you very much, Helen. If you'd like to find out more, we're going to put all the information for you on our website at katu.com. All right, we'll be right back with more AM Northwest. Don't go away.